It's been 30 years since The Offspring's breakthrough album, Smash, which included the hits Come Out and Play, Self Esteem, and Gotta Get Away. Their music videos became MTV staples, and their sound influenced a generation of artists. The band is celebrating the anniversary with huge shows around the world, and a new album is supercharged. We asked frontman Dexter Holland and guitarist Noodles a few questions after their Alt Press digital cover shoot. I'm Demi Ramos. Welcome to Swix Presents. Some of the early shows where it was people coming up on stage and, and doing stage dives and stuff back in the day, that was always was kind of fun. Guys jumping um, off the balconies. Yeah, but, the, but dude, then like Hellfest this year just went off, just yeah. crazy. So we, we've got a, a bunch of uh, shows to, to choose from there. That's a tough one. I'm gonna go with Bad Habit just because it's fun to play. Staring at the sun. Staring at the sun, awesome, <laughs> you're old school, love it, love it. Jeez. Probably Woodstock 99, right? Yeah. We done? There was another big one we did. It was a it was a free kind of communist <laughs> uh, thing in, in Paris that, that was, was big. really big. I think Rock and Rio might be the biggest. Oh right? yeah, this maybe Rock and Rio. Yeah, it's a fun song, man. Uh, we we play that. That's one we got to play every night, and it's it's fun. We do a little breakdown at the end, get some audience participation, and it, the the crowd goes off. And it's, actually, it's, it's one of our best live songs. Yeah, it goes over really well. So you don't get tired of it? No, no. no. Uh, Elton John. Yeah, I love Elton John. Nailed it. Ron Emery from TSOL and Stan Lee from the Dickies. I think it was Keep Them Separated, or, or was it Pretty Fly for a White Guy, was the, the song that advertised Monkey Bone. Okay. Remember Monkey Bone? I do, yeah. yeah. That was, it was great. A sleeper. <laughs> yeah. A sleeper. Yeah. We have a song called Check Beheaded out. that was used in Idle Hands when I had my head ripped off. So that I was that. great, actually, yeah. It's kind of like that Spinal Tap scene, like where they're listening to their song in the hotel. Oh, it's a it's a blast from our past. Your past and, right? <laughs> no, um, I, I I still love it. It's always kind of fun, especially when it's one of the new songs. I haven't heard the new song on the radio yet. To uh, make it all right, I'm looking forward to hearing that on the radio. My favorite tattoo is probably on on me or on someone else. On you. <laughs> on you. Your favorite tattoo. On me, yeah. I guess I gotta go with my wife. I got my wife and my mistress in the same tattoo. <laughs> yeah. That's a tough one. Yeah. See, it, it sure isn't any better, probably, nope. right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. No. Scary times we're living in. Shit is fucked up. That's right. I'd say it's a little more relaxed because we do it in our own studio. We've been working with Bob Rock. It's not like we go in, okay, we're making a new record, Bob. We're, you know, we're working on a new record with you. Come, come down. It's like we just always work with Bob. He just comes out whenever he's got time for us, and and we've got time for him. And like we're just hanging out. We, yeah, we just hang out in the studio. It's 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 just a, a, a good. It's a great collaboration. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. I don't know why we're still doing this? <laughs> yeah. I think we love we love what we do. Honestly, love what we do. We we respect each other and and how we get it done. No, no, no. 